For regular videos on ancient cultures and forgotten civilizations, please subscribe. In 1982, an American treasure hunter named Robert Marks, after receiving a tip from a diver, found several Roman amphorae, jars, in the Guanabara Bay of Brazil. The area is often called the Bay of Jars. If there was no long-distance trade between the Americas and Egypt, how did they get there? Since no others have been found, I think the most we could conclude is that a Roman galley lost its way and drifted to the Americas. But there is reason to doubt the evidence. Marx wanted to continue his search for a Roman shipwreck, but he claimed that the Brazilian Navy had prevented him from uncovering any more artifacts by dumping boatloads of silt in Guanabara Bay, instigating a ban on diving in the area, and prohibiting Marx from re-entering Brazil. Brazil vehemently denied ever dumping any silt in Guanabara Bay. They said the reason behind its ban was because Marx was suspected of removing Brazilian artifacts, like gold coins, from the country and selling them at auction for his own personal profit. Marx avoided answering any questions from journalists about this. And then a Brazilian businessman, Americo Santarelli, claimed that he had made the amphorae in Portugal and submerged them in the bay in 1961 so that they could achieve an authentic barnacled look. He said he waited for many years and then was only able to retrieve four of them before Marx discovered the rest. So this evidence for ancient transatlantic trade doesn't seem to hold up.